It's a gold bit. Um, you know, we've been um, doing fractionalization um, of um, gold commodity already for uh, about seven years. And um, we're using the Kruger Rand, which got legal tender, and we fractionalized that um, into what we called mini bits, um, and we fractionalized into 10,000 mini bits. So um, currently in South Africa, we already offer this a fractionalized service uh, to our user base, and they can actually buy um, a mini bit uh, for as little as 5 and 70, which obviously linked to the spot price of gold, uh, and purchase their, um, to accumulate their wealth into, into owning a Kruger Rand. Now, the new, the new trend, obviously, um, as blockchain technology has been uh, opened up into the world um, and the fact that the, regula the, regulated, the regulatory environment is becoming much more accessible, it gives us a huge opportunity to move into, the, um, into implementing real-world asset tokenization and move the, the fractionalization of gold, uh, which is in this case the Kruger Rand, uh, onto blockchain. So we are quite exciting about that opportunity because that would open up the South African market as well as the international market for us. Although we have to always look at the liquidity, um, the regulatory environment within South Africa and abroad, and also um, you know the trust relationship for our clients so that they have to have full, fully trust. And this is what we're being offered by blockchain technology. So firstly, I think asset tokenization is something that now the world is looking at because it helps to unlock all the real world assets in the world, including gold, commodities. We have clients coming to us for whiskey, for diamonds as well. So those are things that we look into. And what are some of the technologies that we actually help in is actually custody, digital asset custody, because once you actually turn them into tokens, you need to store them in a fright and secure manner. And of course, other than that, we also have things like liquidity, as well as for the secondary market, because that is where the tokens need to go around. And why this is so that there are more and more people who are interested in tokenization is actually because it can actually go through 24-7 markets and unlike the traditional funds where you can only do it during the working hours. So those are the things that actually drove the tokenization uptake. I think something that is important is we know that a lot of investment instruments, they actually require a huge load of amount to be loaded on for the investment to even kick off. So fractionalizing them is good in a sense. You can actually open up to more people who actually has less funds to actually take part and partake of the investment as well. And that is where the liquidity comes in. And for investors as well, what is important is that they do not need to spend too much time in getting investors. They can actually open up to the mass market and actually get liquidity very quickly. So in South Africa, commodities are, there are lots of commodities. So that is why in South Africa, tokenization is a part where it's very important, where we can actually unlock the real world asset. So that is where, you know, the money is being untapped onto the blockchain. And that is why we are here in South Africa. Oh, the gaming industry, you know, there is definitely a cross uh, pollinization into the gaming industry because what you can do is we can actually offer, for example, um, the old fractionalization solution for a Kruger Rand, which is a gold commodity, and offer that into um, the gaming industry. In other words, that would be could be the prizes that they win. So you could actually have um, an app where they can actually, um, you know, bet to be able to earn um, the lucky draws of fractionalized gold and then even if they uh, you know if you can actually go up to owning a full Kruger Rand um, as the jackpot so there's definitely a um, cross pollinization between fractionalization into gold um, with the gaming industry as well you know we see chain up as an internationally acclaimed um, uh, organization and they have very extensive technology to actually put us onto their platform and to tokenize any initiative um, in terms of real world asset, which is just one. They can do gold uh, tokenization and they can actually do stablecoin as well. And that's why we're quite um, excited to partner with them. 
So the most important thing and the most difficult situation right now is actually regulations because this actually are real world assets that we're talking about that are highly regulated in the real world space. But however, when they come onto the blockchain, they kind of lose the regulation. And that is where governments would need to work together to make down, you know, more put into the laws and legislations to make sure that everything is legitimate and it can be accountable for even on blockchain. So that is actually the most important thing that we're looking at. And now ChainUp is actually working very closely with regulators around the world as well, just to make sure that, you know, we are a part of it and we make sure that we make the tokenization move. So for the gaming industry, most importantly right now, we are seeing an uptick in crypto usage. So most of the people coming in, they're actually using crypto to actually pay for whatever that they're doing on iGaming. So that is something that is very important. And for our company, what we provide is actually secure infrastructure for um, safekeeping the assets. So that is something that is most important.